So you've got your book done, you've got your map done, you're ready to start formatting your book in Atticus, but how do you get your map into Atticus with your book? Well, that's what I'm gonna show you today. It's time for another author side quiz. Let's get it. So Atticus is this really cool app. It's kind of like Vellum for Windows, except for they're still working on developing it even further. So they're putting in all sorts of new features all the time. It's really cool. You want to get on this. If you're a Windows user and you're trying to figure out how to format your books and make them actually look pretty when they go on to Kindle or when they go out to print, Atticus is a great option for you. But let me show you how to get your map into Atticus into your book. In this example, I'm going to use one of my short stories. Let's go with Lotmeek. Lotmeek is one of my characters from my book Stone and Sky and I gave him his own feature in this short story. But once you get into Atticus you're gonna look over here on the left hand side. You're gonna see that there's a whole bunch of different items here. You got your front matter, you got your body, and then you got your back matter. In this case what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a front matter. In order to add something into our front matter we're gonna go down here we're gonna click the three dots by the add chapter there. Once we open the three dots it's gonna give us all these different options of things that we can add. We want to add a full page image. So click on full page image. It'll come up like this. You can drag it all the way over here. We want it after the copyright page. That's perfect. And actually what we're going to do is we're going to rename this and we can come right up here and name this map. Map. Click add image. You're going to find your image on your computer. Mine just so happens to be right here. Bam. Open up map. It's going to take a second because my map is huge. Once it's done uploading, it's going to show a preview of your image right here. And you get to pick two things here. You can print it inside the margins or you can print it as full bleed. I'm going to show you what the difference is here in just a second, but we'll come back to that. Then you can decide whether you want it on top, center, or bottom. Now we're going to leave it in the center and I'm going to put it on full bleed just so I can show you what that's going to do. So let's go to formatting up at the top. So if we click formatting, it's going to show us a preview of it on this side. Now this is what it'll look like on an iPad but I want to see what it's going to look like in print. Once the preview comes up on print, it'll show you right here what it'll look like in print. Now, as you can see, it goes right to the edge of the paper, but this isn't going to work really well in our print books. So what we want to do is go back here and we're going to go margins. That means it's going to print on the inside of the margins, whatever you set the margins to be in your book. Now let's go back to formatting. Let's go back to print and take a look and boom, now it looks regular and that's what it's gonna look like when it prints in the actual book. That's awesome. Okay, let me show you one more thing about this that you're gonna love. If I go back over here to the map page, I can actually click this, my image gallery, instead of clicking on this big plus sign. And what that'll do is it'll open up all the images that you've uploaded into Atticus previously, which means that if you've already uploaded a map and it has to go into multiple books, you can just drag it from your image gallery. And that's epic. Hey, if you're interested in checking out the short story about my dwarven warrior, Lotmeek, I've got seven free fantasy prelude stories about characters that we meet in my book, Stone and Sky, that you can have for free by going to freefantasyfiction.com. At the end of the day, this is super easy. I hope this was a helpful video for you. You can totally do this. You can format your book. You can make it a beautiful book that people will love to read. I believe in you. It's gonna be awesome. And I'll see you guys next time.